What's up, YouTube? You're watching Explosion 35. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Explosion35 here with another review for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Legends movie series, Star-Lord, man. So, first off, he comes with the left arm of Gru. Um, I don't know if I'll build him, so I can't make any promises. He also comes with his quad blaster, so you can see it's a solid gray with some gold bits. Nice sculpting. And he can hold them pretty well. It's a little bit loose, but they're not going to fall out, you know. He also comes with an extra Peter Quill head, or uh, the Chris Pratt head. And it looks alright. I think the hair's a little bit too light, and the beard may look a little bit weird. But it is it is alright, so it just simply pegs onto the ball joint. <sighs> And this looks pretty cool. He huh? also comes with his tape player, which is very small and does have some sculpted detail, but it's mainly just an orange-yellow. And he also comes with his headphones that fits on his head. So his headphones fit nicely and he holds the tape player, but I kind of like to just put it right in there. So, you know, holds it like that. And he also comes with a swirly ball that holds the Infinity Stone, and you can see one of the Infinity Stones, and you can see... Nice and shaded. Now, besides the Peter Quill head, he also comes with this very nicely uh, sculpted Star-Lord mask, which is, you know, kind of reminiscent with, you know, movie mixture, so it is very nice. Got all the details in there, as well as the top of the hair. Um, he's also got, you know, nice sculpted wrinkles in the shirt. He's got nice black wash throughout this whole jacket. He's got his backpack, which is removable. I'll show you in a little. He's got two different tones of, uh, like, it's a... Uh, Brown, red, and then a plain red, dark red. He's got his gauntlets, his gloves. It comes down, it's got even silver bits on here. Underneath, of course, he's got his, like, I don't know, future jeans, I guess. His space jeans and his boots. His rocket launchers, I guess. His back on the back has his backpack. Very nice wash throughout here. You can see the folds and stuff. So overall, very nice sculpting and paint jobs. Now, to remove the backpack, you have to undo the backpack here. It comes undone. You have to take the head off. Then you can simply lift it over, take it off. So this is how it looks without the backpack. A little plain. Now, in the way of articulation, his head looks up very far because uh, the the hair is a little bit soft. Um, looks side to side, down this much. His arms can go up. can do 360s. Rotate at the upper part of the arm. Bend at two points at the elbow, wrist swivel, as well as go in and out. He has an ab crunch, only a little bit, and of course a little bit back because the coat hinders it. He has a waist twist. Um, his legs can kick out this much and then they stop uh, due to the sculpting up here. They can go forward. He has an upper thigh swivel, double joints at the knee, and his foot goes down, up, and he also has an ankle pivot. Now, my only gripe with the figure is that Hasbro uses very soft, pliable plastic, which can cause warping in joints. Like, the plastic is very, like, soft. You can see what I'm doing. It's a very soft plastic. That's my only gripe. So, here you can see he stands just slightly over six and a quarter inches tall. And here you can see him next to the standard body mold nowadays, the Bucky cap. And you can see Peter Quill is quite a tall figure, so he does stand good. So, overall, guys, I think this is a really good figure, especially if you like Guardians of the Galaxy. It was such a good movie, and I highly suggest you watch it. But, yeah, overall, this figure is great, and this is how we'll be having him displayed. I hope to pick up the other figures in the wave, and peace, and subscribe. Boosh! His head looks up this much. Oops.